The Republican National Committee says that GOP candidates will not participate in the longstanding presidential debates run by the official commission. To break down what this means for 2024 and beyond, NBC News Now correspondent Vaughn Hilliard is joining me. Joining me. Uh, Vaughn, what do we know? Aaron, it has become tradition that the Democratic nominee, the Republican nominee, square off for multiple presidential debates. But after Donald Trump's loss in the 2020 election, Republicans started to recalculate their view of whether or not they'll partake into the future. The Republican National Committee voting unanimously to withdraw from the Commission on Presidential Debates, putting a decades-long tradition and political test for candidates in jeopardy. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet. States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's in a statement, the RNC says they are committed to free and fair debates, but that the Commission is biased and will not participate with their oversight. Complaints include debates taking place after early voting had begun, making changes to debate formats without notifying the candidates, failing to maintain nonpartisanship, the debates between President Biden and former President Trump turning chaotic and contentious. Where's the left? Will you who shut is up, on, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? Right. Gentlemen, this is, I think this we've is ended so this is it. Former President Trump has been a vocal opponent of the commission, unhappy with everything from the dates picked for the 2016 debates against Hillary Clinton. They're against the NFL. I saw the dates, too. I think two of the three are against the NFL, so I'm not thrilled with that. To the commission itself. It's a Clinton-Obama group of people. And, you know, you have the one guy, the chairman, who's this, who's basically a never-Trumper. The televised presidential debate, a hallmark of democracy, dating back to when John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon squared off in the first televised presidential debate. There are not many ways that we voters are able to hold candidates to account during the course of a campaign. One of those ways since 1976 has been TV debates. It's a reduction in our level of democracy. You know, you know this... But yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to ask you, I mean, it sounds like the 2024 presidential debates may be in jeopardy here for real. Is there uh, any sort of precedent for presidential candidates not debating in that sort of format? Right. I think as it applies first to 2024, ultimately, it is the nominee's decision. Mm. The Republican Party can't keep their nominee from going and debating here. But in terms of precedent, the first actual presidential debate was back in 1960, JFK versus Richard Nixon. Right. And then there was a 16-year gap. They didn't pick back up and become routine until 1976 again. But these have become mainstays of presidential campaign politics here. You know, 73 Three million Americans watched the first debate this uh, back in 2020 between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and largely, especially in an environment when which folks are able to just take little pieces of favorable media to one side or the other. Here, the debates are viewed as sort of that two-hour, open-ended, no editing. Uh, you know, r truly just the voice of the candidates being able to put themselves on display here, and that is why the potential of not having the Republican on that debate stage could have. Uh, true consequences to uh, campaigns ahead. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.